Hey guys, do you want to live on a lakefront property? This floor plan can be built in multiple communities, including different variations of this home. Stay tuned. Hey guys, Joe with Orlando Home Finders, and today I'm in Oakland, right between Claremont and Winter Garden, a great, beautiful neighborhood with a lot of nature trails. This community is amazing. So you have 144 homes here. You're at the end phase of this community. So you won't have to live through construction. As you see this house, this is a model home. So everything has bells and whistles. So the main things to look at are different structures. I just did a Newport model that looks just like this, but it doesn't have the master down. This floor plan that you can build you can do the, it has the double masters here and you can do three car garage. So this house, as you see it, over 3,800 square feet, five bedrooms, four baths, and three car garage. And there's a lot of options that you'll see through this floor plan. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe to my channel. Hit that bell for instant notifications. And if you wanna see this house, give me a call, Joe at 407-484-8458 or email me at orlandohomefinders at gmail.com. Enjoy the tour. Beautiful exterior elevation, kind of has that farmhouse look with the red, has the party board, large covered front porch, and you see you have that northeastern brick work on the lower of those columns. Pavered patio, drive. you have a two-story foyer. You have your upgraded rails. This is a model home, so it has all the bells and whistles. Those chandeliers, upgrades. That rail, upgrades. As you can see throughout the main area here, you have 12 by 24 inch, 70, 30 patterned tile floors. Interior design in here, you could see the difference between this one and the other home. You could design it as you wish. Look at this elegant formal dining room. Again, this builder with their interior designer, just incredible. Two windows in the front, three transom windows. See you have the built-ins here. I don't even think they'll have that as an option. Built-ins that have the floating cabinets with the LED lights below. I'm gonna do this probably two times, but in case I miss it, Upgraded butler's pantry here. High-end glass cabinets, quartz countertops, ultra high-end drawers. So this is something that you don't see. But that is a big upgrade to have pot drawers instead of cabinets. Walk-in pantry. They even designed the pantry. All right, let's go back around and go into the main space. Open concept, but again, you have separation. I'm going to show you this elegant kitchen, but for now, before I go into there, this is your entryway from your three car garage. This is your drop area, valet, closet. You always need that extra closet space. In the Northern States, that would be a coat closet. Then look at this. To the right, you have your dry bar. Upgraded gourmet kitchen. This kitchen, as the last, is upgraded galore. So you have your high-end quartz countertops that has the waterfall island. You have the gourmet structure, but this is a modified gourmet structure. You have double wall ovens. You can see the other ones, I say it's a microwave and an oven on the wall. This is the double wall oven. And then you have the microwave that vents out on top. 
So that's a different way of doing this. This is a gas community, five burner cooktop, and look at this glass pattern backsplash. I love it. These cabinets are upgraded galore, as I mentioned. You can see it has the glass, it has the double stack that goes all the way to the ceiling, the crown molding, so it is seamless, just a wall of cabinets. High end G appliance, cast iron farmer sink, industrial chrome faucet, elegant pendant lights, a lot of counter space here, and then you have the butler pantry. Coming off to the right, this is your kitchen nook, bright and airy with the two windows on the left, and then your sliders to go out to your covered lanai. This, again, has a lot of structural upgrades. Before I start to go off on tangents, this is your family room, and this gives you a really great definition of the space. You have walkway behind here, two windows behind us, and this is an upgrade with the triple slider. It does not pocket, but you have that option. So this is a great definition of the space again, because on the last model, this it doesn't have a window to the right, and the TV's on the opposite side, so this gives you a better definition of the space. Okay, that has the windows back there. So this really works the way this is set up. All right. Okay, so since you have a pool, you have your pool bath all ready to go. This is beautiful. I love how they did the vertical. Alternating with Stello, with the large format subway top, the gray grout, all the way to the ceiling. So this is what makes a house look high end. It's the finishing touches. And you can see you have the paint, gray paint in here, and the, the frameless shower, upgraded granite, and then the high end full overlay cabinets. You also have the top floors flowing out through there. And then, boom, double master in this house. So you can see in the floor plan, you'll think that this room is shallow or narrow. But this is a king size bed and you have a cabinet over here you can put your tv over there so there's a lot of space elegant everything is designed to a t here double vanity Again, with the high-end, high-end full overlay cabinets, quartz countertops, tile floors, 12 by 24 in a 70-30 pattern. Then you have the soaking tub with the frameless shower, tile work going all the way around, alternating subway tiles. So large format subway tiles, you can see that they alternated it in a straight pattern looks amazing. Then you have the high-end brushed Moen handles, faucets, frameless shower, all the details here that make your home look high-end. So this home is in different price points in different neighborhoods. Even the water closet has paintings. That is what I call well done. That side. Another thing you'll see is the elegant lighting fixtures, and then walk-in closet. Even the walk-in closet has design painted walls. I love it. So lots of structural upgrades that you can do with some of these. This house, this would be an upgrade at another builder. With this particular community, you can build it. The standard comes with that master down. Glass eight foot door. You have a wrap around 
oversized lanai. So remember in the Newport, it only had the lanai over here. So this is a great size lanai, but this is the upgraded option where it goes all the way across. And I'm not sure if you could do it on here, but you could have a second floor balcony that wraps all the way across. All right, so everybody says, hey, I can't build a pool in this small backyard. You gotta be five feet away from your property line. So this looks shorter than five feet. That's like two and a half feet. But this is a lap pool, great size. It looks like it's six feet on this end. And I, let me see, let's see how wide this is. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is a nine foot wide lap pool. Great size, you have to be five feet away from the house. So these columns, five feet from these columns, let me go to the other side, give you a view of this pool. Of course, if your land slopes, you can have retaining walls. But this is a premium property with your elevated waterfront lot. A lot of these lots are on the actual Lake Apopka. So triple sliders, I love it. Just a beautiful lake out here. Oh, it's a little wind, windy out there, a little noisy. All right, so let's go up to the second floor. So the second floor really shines on this house. Um, I'm gonna go up there in a second, but before I do, storage underneath the staircase. Upgraded, upgraded, and upgraded. So handrails, this has the classic white spindles. You have the hardwood on stairs and the hardwood matching risers. Designed, the trim work make your house look elegant, upgraded. That's, that's an added feature that the builder doesn't offer but they do on they do it on the models to attract you to see how elegant your house can be up here you have the hardwood floors going through the main areas carpet in the bedrooms they over I want to hire this interior designer they just over decorate walk-in closet even the closets have decoration i've been saying that the whole time all right you have the five and a quarter inch baseboards this will be your first bath here so this is what you're going to see sometimes they have the two centimeter quartz i think you could upgrade it i'm not sure with this particular builder this looks like a standard tile 17 by 17 in a 70 30 pattern so even though it's standard it gives you that upgraded feel because of the staggered pattern standard tiles again these are 12 by 12s and then they put the square listellos all the way to the ceiling will be extra but look at that well done another thing is oval sinks that's an upgrade Building closet. All right. I'm not going to show you what's behind me yet. Love this. All things, little touches. Look at this. This is beautiful. Great size room. You have the day bed. Interior designer with this festive canopy over the day bed. Large walk in closet. I'm gonna take a picture of that because it's awesome. Then look at this. So this is where this, this place just keeps going. So you have your two-story foyer. Elegant design, you have the hardwood floors going throughout. Wow, this is a very big loft. And this is what you can do. This is for your design purposes. It gives you an idea on how to design your house, but it costs a lot of money to do this design. This 
this has the built-in shelves, TV station, upgraded fans. So when you build, you don't have these things. You don't have these fans installed. Sometimes they offer fans, but not typical. You, this is painted. You have five and a quarter inch baseboards. Okay, so let's go into this room. I'm confused if I'm gonna go left or right, but this has the upgraded bath in here. Otherwise, that'd be a big closet. Butterfly, standard closet, upgraded bath, I will assume no. All right, guys, so this is standard, except for the, this is standard, standard, except for the cabinets. So you have standard floor in here, straight pattern, you have the upgraded white cabinets, and then you have, this is the upgrade, full overlay cabinets, but then look at this. Laminate countertops with an over mount sink, chrome faucet, that's an upgraded light fixture, then standard tiles, six by six tiles, and you see it does not go to the ceiling. This is great to see. Standard fixtures, chrome fixtures. This is awesome to see. There you go. Standard as it comes right there. So they designed it and it still looks really good. Even though you have standards, the cabinet really made the difference. Linen closet right there. All right, let's finish this off with the master. Let's see what the master has in store for us. Laundry on the second floor, large laundry room. This has the upgraded cabinets and wet sink. Otherwise it'd be just a big room with your standard tiles. Standard tiles again in this 50-50 pattern. It gives you that extra feel. Did I go into there? Or did I go in that room? So check this out. Wow. Double French doors to go into this elegant master. One foot tray ceiling. As you can see, it has the trim work with the gloss paint, so it just shines and shimmers. You have six recessed lights that comes at a cost. Then you have speakers in here. Okay, so this, I really like to show this. I'm gonna do a comparison on this house with the Newport. Three large windows, eight foot door. One thing I didn't mention, let me come back out here. You can do eight foot doors here, but these are standard six, eight doors and it still looks great but three big windows in the back interior design is incredible I'm gonna finish off with something different I usually finish off with the master but this is kind of part of the master large vanity double vanity with the makeup station with your stool this is a brown quartz again with the high-end cabinets with your brushed handles herringbone pattern large format on this wall polished you put polished in your master that's the elegance they put the master this has not a rain head shower, but it has a rain head shower head with body spa. There you have it. Body spa, spa in your own house. So you have your polished tiles here, straight pattern all the way to the ceiling. But then look at on the second floor, you're gonna have an acrylic pan. And on the first floor, you can have stonework, frameless shower here. Another view, then your walk-in closet. You will not get these uh, built-ins, California-style closets, but they have it for this model. You can see in the roof, they use radiant barriers, they use higher insulation. Let's finish this off. This is the cherry on top on this house. So. The option to have a wraparound porch. So this was your standard. So if you had your standard lanai, you could 
do 18,000. I think it's 18,000 for this area to be covered lanai. Otherwise, it would just be a roof. But look at this. That extended lanai becomes an extended balcony option. So you have a waterfront lot. Imagine that. So this model's for sale. I got to double check, but I don't think it is. But it might have been already sold. But if it is, this is gorgeous. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the tour. If you want to see this home or build this home, you can build it in multiple communities, including here on Lake Apopka. So this house, over 3,800 square feet, five bedrooms, four baths, and a three car garage. So this house is stunning. If you want to see it, give me a call at Joe at 407-484-8458 or email me at orlandohomefinders at gmail.com. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe to my channel. It helps me tremendously. Truly appreciate you guys. Hey guys, have an amazing day, and I'll see you around the neighborhood.